The pitch went well. Um, it was, what we pitched was uh, taking the existing eHealth um, protocol and converting that into a information structure that we can use to uh, further develop applications and gain access to uh, let people gain access to um, to other data. Uh, health systems in Australia uh, all communicate or should communicate over a common protocol. And um, the eHealth protocol, what about NEO, is large and complex, very difficult to understand. Uh, what we propose to do is take that protocol or schema and convert it into an information structure that will make it easy for these health systems to communicate with each other. So things are going well so far. Having talked to uh, people last night and this morning, uh, we definitely know that there's a, uh, a problem when it comes to sharing data across uh, across the health systems and within the uh, e-health ecosystem. So it's definitely uh, it's definitely validated that there is a problem there. What we're trying to do is just identify a way to be part of the solution. That's going forward, um, we're going to make it easier for uh, other software vendors to. Um, uh, to, I suppose, uptake, uptake the technology and uh, reduce the, the, uh, those barriers to, to, to join that, that system. Uh, so if we can save just one minute per patient in terms of administrative overhead, what if you think, okay, one minute doesn't mean it doesn't sound like much, but it translates from an average practice to about $50,000 a year. So, and not to mention the collateral damage. If, you're, if you turn up to an appointment at 4.30 in the afternoon and have to wait for half an hour, that's half an hour of, of downtime that you're not at work or spending time with your family. Definitely be better, I think, if we try to share some of our knowledge and gain knowledge from some of the other disciplines, like the health practitioners and hustlers and hipsters, and not just the techies like us. Yeah, very happy. Very, it was a good experience. Uh, it was fun. Enjoyed it thoroughly.